everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about the process of DNA replication. So in simple language, we can say that the process of DNA replication involves the formation of two new daughter DNAs from the parent DNA. These are the two new daughter DNAs and these are the exact replicas of the parent DNA. So here the daughter DNA has received one of the strand of the parent and from that it has synthesized one new DNA strand. So this process seems to be very much easy but that in, it involves a lot of enzymes and the mechanism which it follows is with what we will study in this video. So now uh, here we can see that the DNA is coiled up but then if we uncoil it we will get a ladder like structure and this is one DNA strand and this is another DNA strand and both the DNA strand will remain attached with the help of the hydrogen bond that is shared between the nitrogenous bases of the two opposite DNA strands. So now in this whole DNA replication process the polarity of the DNA strands are important. See this is the 5 prime end, this is the 3 prime end and here this is the 3 prime and this is the 5 prime end. So now why this is 5 prime and this is 3 prime? So let us understand that first. Uh, if we consider this sugar group, see this is the sugar group. This is the first carbon to which the nitrogenous base is attached and this is the second carbon. This is the third, this is the fourth and this is the fifth. And to the fifth carbon phosphate group remains present. Now this phosphate group will form phosphodiester group, uh, sorry phosphodiester bond to the adjacent sugar by binding to its third carbon position. This is the third carbon position and here the fifth carbon position will remain open and it will have phosphate group. So now this process will continue and at the end we will have one open 5 prime end and an open 3 prime end. And in the opposite strand what will happen the orientation of the sugar is opposite. So see here the sugar group is like this. See so now this is the fifth carbon this is the third carbon and this is the first carbon to which the nitrogenous base is attached. Now this car fifth carbon will have phosphate group this will attach to the third carbon of the adjacent sugar and here this fifth carbon will remain open it will have the phosphate group so that is why the orientation is 5 prime and there the open end is 3 prime that is why the orientation yeah said the polarity is different so the polarity is important in DNA replication this is because uh, DNA polymerase can add nucleotides only to the 3 prime end and not to the 5 prime end. So now let us see what are the enzymes that are involved in the process of DNA replication. First is the enzyme DNA helicase. So now what happens DNA is a coiled structure now to unzip it DNA helicase will come into action. This will open up the DNA and it will form a replication fork. Now as helicase works it will insert a negative supercoiling or condensation in this region. So to remove that topoisomerase act in this. And also so that the DNA helix remains open uh, single strand binding protein will come and attach to the separated strand so that it do not form the bond again. It will prevent the bond to occur. So next comes the DNA polymerase 3. This has the ability to add nucleotides to the uh, to the newly synthesized DNA strand. But then the nucleotide can the DNA polymerase cannot add nucleotide from scratch. So it will need something to cling on for this RNA primase will add RNA primer to mark the beginning of the DNA replication to which DNA polymerase will add nucleotide. Then comes DNA polymerase 1. This has exonuclease activity that is it will remove any wrong bases that has been inserted into the DNA and it can also remove the RNA primer. Then there is DNA ligase. This uh, seals all the NICs that are present within the DNA and two proper DNA strands are produced at the end. So now let's see the mechanism which it follows. See this is the double helical sorry uh -huh. this is the double helical structure of the DNA. This is one strand this is another strand. So first let us start uh, with this strand 3 prime to 5 prime direction. This is one of the parent strand. Now helicase enzyme is working in this direction 
and we know that DNA polymerase can add nucleotides only to the three prime end. Now it cannot add DNA, uh, sorry, it cannot add nucleotides from scratch. So RNA primase will add RNA primer to this region, and to which nucleotides will be added by RNA DNA polymerase. Now the nucleotides will be added by following Chargaff's complementary base pairing rule. If this is A, the nucleotide inserted will be T. If this is G, this will be C, and likewise. The DNA strand synthesis will take place in this direction. And as helicase enzyme is working in this direction and DNA synthesis is also working in the same direction, so there is no, discontin there is no di discontinuation and the process will be a smooth one. That is why this strand is also known as continuous strand or the leading strand. Now the problem happens in the other strand. Let's see. So if this is the strand, this is the strand, uh, strand 5 prime to 3 prime. So now helicase is working in this direction and we know that DNA polymerase can add nucleotide only to the 3 prime end. So now RNA primase will come and it will add RNA primer in this region to which the DNA polymerase will add nucleotides and this will progress in this direction. Meanwhile, the uh, helicase enzyme has moved far away. So some more region has opened up. So now RNA primase will add RNA primer in this region again and DNA polymerase will add nucleotides and the process will continue. So as a result, small fragments will be formed. These are the known as the Okazaki fragments and later on when the DNA synthesis is complete, DNA polymerase um, one will come and this will cleave all the RNA primer from it and DNA polymerase three will add new nucleotides into this region. Then DNA polymerase 1 will proofread the entire DNA strand to find if any wrong base, bases have been incorporated and if it has then it will remove the wrong bases and then at last DNA ligase will come and then it will seal all the nicks present within the DNA strand so that at the end we can find two new daughter DNAs uh, which are the exact replicas of the parent DNA. So if you have found this video informative, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.